Wendy's employee admits to pooping in the chili, cops uncover why he did it. To make your day just that little brighter, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Comment I subscribed and we'll feature some of you in our next video. Let's face it, hardly anyone actually enjoys the fact that they have to go to work. Most of the time, people have jobs that they have zero personal interest in, or even downright despise. But because food needs to stay on the table and the lights have to stay on, there really isn't much of a choice in the matter, working a job is a necessary part of life. This is why the story of 28-year-old Brian Casper is shocking, but at the same time, not so shocking. Brian Casper worked at a Wendy's location in Mobile, Alabama. When asked about to other people, he was more often than not described as an on-time and reliable employee just trying to come in, do his shift, make his money, and go home. He had been working at this particular Wendy's location for about two years, and while working in fast food isn't many people's first choice, he didn't show much distaste for the job itself. In fact, he was a rather quiet employee who really only spoke when he was spoken to, and kept to himself about 99.9% .9 of the time. But all of that isn't part of the problem that was eventually discovered by the police. Customers began to notice something strange about the Wendy's chili. It didn't necessarily taste bad, but it tasted odd and was causing quite a bit of controversy amongst the customers that frequented the Wendy's location often. Some customers still enjoyed the chili and had nothing bad to say, others claimed that the chili didn't taste as good as they remembered it but continued to eat it anyway, while some flat out stopped eating it and refused to order it anymore insisting that the recipe be was changed and it should be changed back to how it was before. Despite everyone at the Wendy's location, and even Wendy's themselves saying that nothing has changed with the chili in any way, shape, or form, chili sales began to drop significantly at the location. Wendy's corporate approached the store manager and asked him to go undercover, seeing if any of the other employees were perhaps changing the chili recipe and going against store policy. This was starting to become a real problem because since customers were buying a lot less of the chili, more of it was going to waste, costing Wendy's a pretty significant loss over time. The manager agreed and accepted his mission, but it's almost certain that he wishes he hadn't found out about what was going on the way he did. After several days of watching over employees who didn't keep their dislike for the job much of a secret, the manager found nothing suspicious going on regarding them and the chili. He decided to instead shift his focus over to the regular employees that didn't complain much, this included Brian Casper. On this particular day, Brian was seen by the manager taking a cup into the bathroom with him. Thinking this was a little odd, but not completely absurd, the manager decided to wait until Brian came out of the bathroom and watch over him to see what else he does since he hadn't had any luck with watching over anyone else. When Brian came out of the bathroom, he was holding the cup upright as if there was something in it. Brian then took the cup and walked back into the kitchen part of the restaurant, as the manager rounded the corner to see what else he was up to, he saw Brian dump the cup into the big pot of chili. When the manager came and questioned Brian about what he had just done, he took the cup and was horrified at what he saw. The manager discovered feces in the cup, as well as in the chili itself. The cops were immediately called and arrived at the scene shortly after. When questioned, Brian admitted to everything, but that wasn't even the worst part of the whole ordeal. He also confessed that he had been doing this for years, pretty much the whole time he was working at that Wendy's location. Word eventually got out to the public about what was really going on with the chili and needless to say, people are disgusted and outraged. I've been eating at this Wendy's for at least seven years, said Sharon Day, a Wendy's customer. I used to order the chili all the time, but I don't know, it started to taste weird. It had a taste that I couldn't put my finger on, I don't know what exactly it was. Now I know and I am absolutely appalled. I never really liked Wendy's chili, until I ordered it a couple years ago, said Raymond Wilson, another Wendy's customer. I thought it tasted different. I thought they changed the recipe. But now that I know why it tastes different, I think I'm going to be sick. I ordered the chili at least twice a week, 